There are so many outdated third-party solutions and bad videos out there on how to use your camera, your Canon camera, as a webcam. All you want is something that works, easily. Preferably without a dongle or adapter. So this is the video that you've been looking for. I've put additional information at this timestamp here so that we can dive into the tutorial right this instant. Like right now. Let's, let's do it. Before you start, you'll need these things. A Canon camera and the lens for it, that camera's respective data cable, an internet connection, and a Windows computer. Hit the card above or the link in the description for a Mac alternative. Two optional things that I also recommend having are a tripod and spare camera batteries. For this easy solution, we're going to use Canon's freshly created EOS webcam utility. Okay, here goes. Open your web browser, search EOS webcam utility, go to Canon's site that pops up, scroll to the bottom and select your camera's model. Then you can scroll down again and download the most current version of EOS webcam utility. In this case, it's a beta. Save it to your computer. Then I open the folder which I downloaded it in, right click the zip file and extract all. Delete the zip file because you don't need that anymore. Open the extracted folder, double click the file inside, and then go through the whole installation wizard. To finish up the install, you will need to restart your computer. Meanwhile, back at your camera, you're going to find the USB port for your cable and plug it in. Then grab the other side of that cable and plug it into your computer. Switch your camera on. Next, you're going to put your camera on a tripod or on a stack of books if you don't have one. So you spin it around. I flipped out the screen just now. And so I can see, even though the cable's right in the way, I can see myself. So we're going to go ahead and do a Facebook call here. If you have a secondary webcam plugged in, so let me go plug this webcam in. I'm going to put this right next to it. We're going to go over to the settings. So we have both cameras plugged in. This is the camera that I have that you're viewing me on right now. So this over here. And if I switch over, you're going to go to whichever camera app you're in, whether it's Zoom, Facebook chat, or like Messenger or anything like that. You go over to the camera settings and you'll see EOS webcam utility beta or in the future when it's not beta, you won't see that. You'll just see the webcam. And now it's going to switch over to such a better camera. That's that. This is it. Um, yeah, you can have it on both auto or on manual. So it does match the color profiles. Keep that in mind. So let's do that right now. We're going to switch over from an auto setting over to a flatter profile on manual and you'll see the difference. So this coming out of a camera is typically really good, but not when you want it to be streamed. Streaming, you want everything embedded in the video. So I'd have to go ahead and change the profile and everything. But worst case, even if you're putting it on auto like this, it looks way, way better compared to the other webcam. Well, Natalia, thank you very much for being my guinea pig. No problem. And now this is the section where I'm going to go over a few different details and concerns and even comments on Canon's own release video that I can address. So when there is the problem of just seeing the logo and not yourself through the lens, I first check the cable here because this was just hanging. And you know, obviously there wasn't enough data like throughput because uh, it was just like off. It detected that the camera was there, but it didn't get through enough. So it just couldn't push the data through. Second is hang up on the person and just redial them. That might solve it. You're gonna hang up on their face. Then you're gonna redial. It didn't work. <laughs> when in doubt, you need to restart your computer and make sure you check both sides of the cable while you're at it, while your computer restarts. So I also found this on Canon's release video here. And this person had the same problem where it just shows the logo of the software. Canon gave a very good response. If it's just Zoom that's having the problem with the software, then maybe contact Zoom, but it's probably not that. Usually with this software from what I've seen, either it's across all of the applications from Zoom, Teams, Skype, Messenger, all of those, it just flat out won't work if something is wrong. But the good news is that according to Canon, you can call them at 1-800-OK-CANON -OK to uh, troubleshoot the issue with you. So. Hopefully there's that. I have, I have not tried this. 
ever. The next up is a common problem that is the EOS utility running in the background. So you can go ahead and uninstall that entirely. I don't ever use it except for a few times where I upgrade my firmware, but even that can be done through the SD card. And tweaking camera settings, sure, but you only need that once in a blue moon. With DSLRs, you have never been able to power your camera by USB. Uh, unlike the Sony cameras, on Sony cameras, you have been able to, and there are other solutions for Sony cameras. But when you have a Canon camera, like this one or this one, then you run into the problem of running out of power. Uh, but the new mirrorless cameras you're able to, just not with this streaming program or the utility. So that's why I mentioned at the beginning, have spare batteries. These ones specifically, like the ones for Canon 90D, 80D, 70D, etc., they're beastly. Like these are big honking batteries. These will last you like two hours or more of streaming. All I do is I cycle them out. For me, it's not a big deal. At the beginning of this video, I showed the Rebel T7i. And for some reason, I can't get this working for the life of me. It might be to do with the cable itself. I'm assuming in the future it will work, but right now Canon is saying that only US model cameras are fully compatible right now. And even then, I thought that the uh, T7i was fully compatible, but apparently not. So I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt because it's still beta software. It's not even out for Mac yet. If you do have incompatible cameras, because one, they're not Canon cameras, or two, they're not compatible yet, then there are other solutions, such as the ones that have always existed for a long time, like Camlink, which is an adapter that costs money. That's fine, but... Uh, this is nice when it works because it's just a software solution with everything you already have at home. And during this crisis, a lot of people have already ordered the cam links and they're out of stock everywhere online because everyone's working from home now. Next up is going to be an audio solution. So this right here is a video solution, but not an audio solution. As you might see right here, uh, right now for this video, I'm actually streaming right into uh, this microphone, which is a lav, wireless lav going to the camera. That's fine. But when I'm streaming, I have this microphone, which is an Audio-Technica AT2020. But this is wired in separately through a Zoom uh, H4n. There are other ways, uh, way more simpler. Just get a USB microphone, just get earbuds, or I also have the other solution here, which doesn't really work with my desktop, but just headphones with a microphone on them. Another quick tip is use headphones. Please don't use speakers. <laughs> Everyone on meetings hates the feedback, especially if you have like a huge meeting of like 50 people. If you're that one guy that has feedback or has another phone call come in or something like that, one, like mute yourself when you're not talking, but two, wear headphones. One of the final things I wanna mention here is that I'm so happy with Canon right now because they're doing the right thing. They released something that should have been released probably a long time ago, and it's out now, I'm happy. I switched back to Canon recently, and now I'm even more happy that I have because I didn't need to buy a Cam Link adapter or anything like that to use with a Sony camera. Instead, I can just plug in my cable and it works. After the R5 announcement and this announcement, it almost seems like, I don't know what's happened in management, but maybe someone's actually thinking for once at Canon. Whew, that's exciting. That is the end. Please go ahead and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me out and it shows YouTube that this is a valuable video. It taught you what you needed to know, and now hopefully you have a webcam. If you are having any issues, go ahead and drop a question in the comments below. Maybe I've had that problem and maybe I can help you. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe for more. That'll help me out. And uh, that's all I got. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna end with cuteness. One more thing to keep in mind is dogs. <laughs> Hi, Casper. He's like, please help me. Okay, one yeah. more thing to keep in mind is subscribe.